Imagine a quiet night in a small city apartment a young woman preparing for a night out. Her name is Emily. Emily, a vibrant soul with a charismatic charm, a woman of simple pleasures and a love for life. She is just like any one of us. She works 9 to 5, enjoys a good book, and cherishes the company of her friends. Tonight she is excited about the plans she made. She carefully chooses her outfit, a stunning white dress that mirrors her vivacious spirit. She checks herself in the mirror, her eyes sparkling with anticipation, her heart buzzing with the thrill of the night that awaits her. The city lights are calling and she is ready to answer. She steps out, locking her apartment behind her. The calm night whispers promises of a good time. Yet as she steps out of her apartment, little does she know, the true horror is yet to come. The apartment now empty, eerily silent. Suddenly the sound of a window creaking open breaks the silence. An uninvited guest, a man, slips in as stealthy as a shadow. His movements are calculated, his steps are soft, almost inaudible. He seems to know his way around, navigating the apartment with a chilling familiarity. Every room he enters he scans meticulously, his gaze lingering on personal items, photos, traces of the woman's life. He is not just an invader, he's an intruder into her private world. As he explores, a sense of anticipation thickens the air. It's not just curiosity driving him, it's a sinister, predatory intent. The man's exploration comes to an end as he finds the perfect hiding spot. The apartment returns to its eerie silence but now, it's different. The silence is heavier, darker. He waits patiently in the darkness, a predator ready for his prey. Our protagonist, unaware of the danger lurking in her home, returns from her night out. The key turns in the lock and the door creaks open into the familiar embrace of her apartment. The scent of her favorite vanilla-scented candle now long extinguished greets her. She's tired, the night's activities having drained her energy. She drops her keys on the table, her mind full of thoughts, oblivious to the eyes that follow her every move. The apartment is silent, save for the soft hum of the refrigerator and the distant sound of city life outside her window. The comforting familiarity of her home wraps around her like a cocoon, a false sense of security that masks the danger hiding within. She is unsuspecting, vulnerable, her senses dulled by fatigue. In the shadows the man watches his eyes gleaming with anticipation. He is patient, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. As she settles in for the night, the hunter readies himself for the attack. As she drifts off to sleep, the man finally emerges from his hiding place. The night's eerie silence is broken only by his cautious footsteps, drawing nearer and nearer. A palpable tension fills the air, growing with each passing moment. This is no ordinary predator, he's cunning, patient, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And then, without warning, he lunges. A violent struggle ensues, a chilling dance of survival. The woman fights back with every ounce of strength she can muster. Her heart pounds in her chest like a desperate drum, echoing the terror coursing through her veins. She claws, she kicks, she screams, but her adversary is relentless. Every desperate attempt to fend him off only seems to fuel his determination. The struggle reaches a fever pitch, a deafening crescendo of fear and desperation. But, as quickly as it began, it ends. The struggle subsides, the screams fade, and the violence gives way to an unsettling quiet. In the end the apartment falls silent once more. The sun rises on the small city apartment, revealing the horror of the night before. The eerie silence is broken only by the distant hum of the city. The apartment, once a sanctuary of warmth and comfort, now bears the chilling testament of the night's terror. Furniture lies overturned, scattered remnants of a struggle, picture frames are shattered, their memories trampled under the weight of the unknown assailant's cruel intent. The once tidy kitchen is a chaotic mess, utensils strewn about, a chilling reminder of the woman's desperate fight. Her fate however remains shrouded in the morning's early mist. The echoes of her struggle hang heavy in the air, an unsettling reminder of the horrors one could face in their own home. Her story, though silent, speaks volumes of the fear that gripped her heart. As the city wakes up to another day, one can only wonder, what happened to the woman in the small city apartment?